Today we're studying what is the real world from the workbook from A Course in Miracles. What is the real world is the eighth instruction in part two of the workbook. The eighth instruction is to be practiced with lessons 291 through 300. So every day when we do our lesson, we also do what is the real world along with it. What is the real world? The real world is a symbol, like the rest of what perception offers. Yet it stands for what is opposite to what you made. Your world is seen through eyes of fear and brings the witnesses of terror to your mind. The real world cannot be perceived except through eyes forgiveness blesses. So they see a world where terror is impossible and witnesses to fear cannot be found. The real world holds a counterpart for each unhappy thought reflected in your world, a sure correction for the sights of fear and sounds of battle which your world contains. The real world shows a world seen differently through quiet eyes and with a mind at peace. Nothing but rest is there. There are no cries of pain and sorrow heard, for nothing there remains outside forgiveness. And the sights are gentle. Only happy sights and sounds can reach the mind that has forgiven itself. What need has such a mind for thoughts of death, attack, and murder? What can it perceive surrounding it but safety, love, and joy? What is there it would choose to be condemned? And what is there it would judge against? The world it sees arises from a mind at peace within itself. No danger lurks in anything it sees, for it is kind, and only kindness does it look upon. The real world is the symbol that the dream of sin and guilt is over, and God's Son no longer sleeps. His waking eyes perceive the sure reflection of his father's love, the certain purpose that he is redeemed. The real world signifies the end of time, for its perception makes time purposeless. The Holy Spirit has no need of time when it has served his purpose. Now he waits but that one instant more for God to take his final step, and time has disappeared, taking perception with it as it goes, and leaving but the truth to be itself. That instant is our goal, for it contains the memory of God. And as we look upon a world forgiven, it is He who calls to us and comes to take us home, reminding us of our identity, which our forgiveness has restored to us. That is instruction number eight. What is the real world? There are 14 instructions interspersed throughout part two of the workbook. Each one is to be done with a section of 10 lessons. What is the real world covers lessons 291 through 300, and it really enhances the practice to do it along with your lesson each day. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook, go to amytorresasim.com and read Amy's blog. Namaste.